Hey, this is Jeff Diamond from DBZ Diamond, and we're here to answer today a question that we get periodically from people who haven't had a chance to check out these two models, which is, what's the difference between the Imperial and the Royale? Sometimes people can't quite tell from photos. It's hard to gain, uh, uh, hard to gauge your scale on the photo. The only thing that becomes immediately apparent when you're looking at these two dimensionally, obviously, is the spacing between the stop tail and the tunematic bridge. Note the spacing here is a little bit more standard spacing, but the wider spacing here on the Imperial. So we're gonna explain that to you today, not just the spacing, but the differences between the models to help you identify which one is more interesting to you. So on my right, your left, I have, this is a Imperial FM, it's a Flame Maple series. The color on this one is tortoiseshell. On my left, your right, is a Royale. This has been one of our most popular Royales, which is the Trans Teal FM, also a flame top. So I'm going to start by telling you first the similarities between the guitars, and then we're going to look at the differences between the guitars. Okay, so similarity wise, what is characteristic of both of these models is the extremely thin bodies. So let's take a look at a profile shot here of one of the bodies. This is the Royale FM. Note how thin the body is as you come around here to the edge of the guitar. You get a nice carved back, so it's a nice shaped back. And as it tailors out to the edges, it gets nice and thin, which makes the guitar very comfortable when it's in playing position because it sits nicely on the body. Now, if you'll notice on the Imperial FM, you're going to see something very similar. As most of you are familiar with, the Imperial was the original of our very thin designed bodies. So you got the nice same thin edge here and the nice contoured back, okay? So other similarities first between the models. Note that both of these are mahogany bodies with uh, maple tops. You can see obviously the flame, you can see the, the flame grain in the transparent colors. Both of these are set neck designs, rosewood fingerboards, Grover tuners. In both cases, these are FMs. So they're going to have a Seymour Duncan JB in the bridge, Seymour Duncan 59 in the neck, one of the most popular pickup conversations in the world. Both of these are tunematics with stop tails. Both of them have a volume tone three way. And in the case of the Imperial as well, coil tap. So rosewood fingerboards, the DBZ custom inlays, all more or less the same type of guitar. Now let's go through and identify the differences between the guitars. So let's talk about the differences between these two models and let's see what, why we did what we did. So first, one thing to note is when you compare these two models as we overlay them here in a second, you're gonna notice that they appear to have a height difference. Both of these guitars have a 24.75 inch scale length. Both of them are gonna have the same pickup configuration, same spacing to the bridge, et cetera. So they're gonna be configured exactly identically where the architecture is concerned. But let's take a look at where they vary and what that does to the guitars. So we've seen the sides of these. If you note this guitar, it's obviously got the kind of oversized body feel, the traditional oversized body footprint, oversized body feel, which has been very popular in things like jazz, clean, blues. Uh, usually, as we note, you've seen that in a semi-hollow configuration or even a hollow body configuration. This one, as we've shown you, is a solid body guitar. So it's going to feel a little different in that it's a solid body. Why do we spread the wood out this way? As I've talked about in the Imperial AB video, as, as well as the Imperial FM video, if you take the same mass of wood from one guitar to another and you spread that out over a larger plane and you thin it out, that actually allows the wood to resonate better. So you're going to get a big, full, resonating, open sound, nice and warm, really big and open. When you see, if you were to take the same mass of wood and put it in what's sort of a normal size guitar body, obviously the body's going to get thicker and you have a thicker chunk of wood, which means it's going to resonate less than it will with it spread out over a larger surface area. That's why if you take a nice thick solid body guitar, it's gonna sound different than something that's thinner. This does is it adds to the resonation and the sustain, but it gives you the overall look of that sort of vintage uh, larger oversized body feel. It's really particularly good in, in a number of applications, but because of the big open warm feel, it's gonna be a very distinct sound. Now, if we compare that to the Royale, 
you'll note simply by looking at the scale that the Royale has what we consider sort of a normal size footprint on a body. The overall body size is a little bit less and as a result, but we still have the thinness. So you still get the resonation, but because the body size is a little smaller and it's more normal size body with the same architecture, that's going to make the guitar brighter. It's going to make it punchier and it's going to give you like a crisp, solid rock kind of sound. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to overlay these two guitars so that we can see the differences in the body size. So let me get this up here for you and then we'll take a, another look. So here what we've done is we've literally taken the Royale and we've laid it right here on top of the Imperial. So you can see by the slight height difference, it's not actually a height difference or a scale difference. As I said, the architecture and the scale is the same. What you're seeing is the smaller body style compared to the big one. So we're going to give you a close-up shot. As we do that, you can take a look around the outside of the guitar and you can see how on the outside of the guitar you're seeing a larger perimeter from the Imperial behind it than you are from the Royale in front of it. That same thing would be true on the body if we were to hold this to where the 22nd frets tend to match. You could see that there's a perimeter all the way through it. So I'm going to give you a side view now so that you can see that the profiles of the guitars are the same. We'll give you a close up there as well so you can see that. But the overall style and the design of the body, the thinness, the structure of the body itself are identical. What you're really missing is that extra wood on the outside, which is the thing that changes the flavor and the character and the tone of this type of instrument. So that's what takes you from the bigger, more open, full sound of the Imperial to the brighter, punchier, a little more rock sound on the Royale. So there you go. That is a rundown for you of the difference between the Royale and the Imperial. You can check out the Imperial AB, the Imperial FM series, and soon to be the Bigsby series of our guitars the, featuring the Bigsby tremolos online here, as well as the Royale videos that we'll be doing on the ST, the FM, and the Quilt Maple models too. Check them out here on Diamond TV, which you can find either on www.dbzguitars.com or you can find them on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash dbzguitarsofficial. So once again, this is Jeff Diamond from DBZ Diamond, and I've been giving you a detailed description of the differences between the Imperial and the Royale. For those of you who need to remember, this was the Imperial FM in Tortoiseshell and the Royale FM in Transteal, available at your local dealer now. Thanks for tuning in.